Pisces. I'm here for another message for you today. As always, this is a general and a timeless video. So just take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for the next person. If you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, an Akashic record session, or a Reiki session, feel free to check out the box below. It does have my email and my website, 144bluerosetemple.com. Now it was interesting that as I started this reading, like the Google voice came on and said, show Cleopatra on Wikipedia. And all I did was like try to turn on the video and then like my phone just did its own glitch. Okay, so you could resonate with Cleopatra. This Cleopatra could have something to do with this reading. We are going to go right to your reading today, Pisces. Divine Mother, Divine Father, Holy Spirit of God, what do we have for the Pisces today for their highest good and for the highest good of all? What do we have for the Pisces today for their highest good? And for the highest good of all. You have Anana, believe in yourself. What else do we have for the Pisces today? You have balance. You have King Neptune on the bottom of the deck. What's one more message for the Pisces for believing yourself in balance? Akashic records. Silent understanding, hidden knowledge. The Akashic records could have something, I mean, clearly to do with this reading. There can be some sort of like, there is some sort of spiritual reason for whatever this reading is about. There's an energetic, there's a soul lesson, okay? Bottom of the deck is miracles, ancient wisdom. All right, Pisces, what I'm also just getting intuitively, there's something balancing over here for you. Like you're supposed to receive something. There's a need for you to believe in yourself. You could have even been like oppressed, like I say, like this lifetime, other lifetimes. And there's something it is that you're supposed to receive or like something you're supposed to accomplish. Where the belief in yourself is necessary. I feel like you're clearing a lot. You're clearing a lot of ancestral karma. And more of like bringing it to a balance. Okay, I'm getting like karmic debt of something balancing. I'm also hearing the months of May and June. The months of May and June, something could have happened or that could be prevalent for you of this year. I'm almost getting like the shifts of the Taurus North Node and South Node. Okay, that could have an eclipse season. There could have been something there, like a situation that happened. You have Queen of Cups. That's your energy, Pisces. Why the Queen of Cups for the Pisces? Why the Queen of Cups for this reading? You have the Seven of Swords. Why the Queen of Cups with the Seven of Swords? You have the Strength card. You could be finding out some sort of information, even maybe when it comes to like those months. Strength, which is the Oya energy. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. We're going to clarify each one. I feel like you were working harder than you had to. There is something it is that you didn't see. Akashic Records with the Seven of Swords. And then you have Anana again, okay? This is two different decks that Anana is coming out. So you could resonate even with like uh, like Persian energy, Mesopotamia. I'm also getting Ethiopia. The Star card. There's Illumination that's coming in. You had to work, again, harder than you had to. Clarify the Queen of Cups here. Yeah, why? Because there was some sort of blockage. Why the Seven of Swords? You have the Eight of Pentacles. Why the Strength card? Six of Swords. Okay, so this strength it is that you've had this whole time. You have Ace of Cups. Your cup is going to overflow, Pisces. There was some sort of soul lesson. There was a blockage here that you had to clear. 
you've really had to believe in yourself. I feel like the past few months, even for some of you, the past few years, I'm here like a few years, few months, but specifically like May, June, you've had to have a lot of faith. Okay, like the star card, which is faith, hope, and trust to get out of whatever it is that was going on. I do feel like there was maybe like some sneaky energy with the seven of swords. And it's almost like the visual that I'm seeing is like, say you're cleaning, right? Like you're cleaning, mopping, and like someone like has something that's like walking around and it's dripping. So you're cleaning, but something keeps dripping as you're cleaning, which is making you need to clean up more. That's kind of what I was getting. Okay, this could be ancestral. It does say Akashic Records, so there's definitely some sort of higher wisdom or higher meaning here as to why that was. And I don't want to use the words that you had to be stronger than you had to be because everything happens for a reason. So obviously this was fate, like this was supposed to happen. But I do feel like there was some sort of blockage that was making you work harder it is than you had to. Okay, what's this blockage for the Pisces? Why the Queen of uh, Why the Queen of Cups with the Two of Swords? Why the Queen of Cups with the Two of Swords? Why the Queen of Cups with the Two of Swords? Why the Queen of Cups with the Two of Swords? You were supposed to receive something, Pisces. You have the Knight of Pentacles. It was slowed down. It was quote unquote blocked, right? And again, everything happens for a reason. So obviously it was meant to happen. There was something to clear. But this whole time, uh, Knight of Cups with the Six of Pentacles, you have, you were supposed to receive something. It's almost like as if something is like supposed to come in the mail and like gets inter, like interceded or uh, I'm like, interception is like what I'm trying to say. Hmm. I'm getting a call now too. I feel like there's something it is that you did, a ritual, a clearing. We just have the 8-8 portal, but whenever you come across this video, it is a general and timeless reading, so it can resonate with you. There was some sort of like energy, again, either past life or ancestral. It could be like in the form of a person that's like uh, three of pentacles, some sort of abundance you were supposed to receive, but it's like some energy person, which again, like when it comes to people, it's just energies or entities working through these people, these people playing their own roles, you know, but it's like, there was like an energy that was almost saying like, didn't want you to receive something. Um, you could have been really clearing your energetic field. I'm also seeing like some of your auric fields. Again, it's not a personal reading, but I'm seeing your auric field where it's like, it didn't really permeate through your auric field, but it was like outside of it. Right. Almost like a great cloud or like some sort of energy that was like almost like hovering over your energetic field okay that's kind of what i'm seeing with your auric or energetic field where like it didn't permeate it completely but there was definitely some sort of energy it is that you've been clearing that was sneaky this could be in the form of a person to not fall face up it is the two of wands though why do we have the seven of swords with the eight of pentacles fertility ten of cups okay so there's a lot coming in for you all right what's well, also coming through pisces it's like whoever you are human experience like the spiritual realms they know who you are that goes for both sides right that goes for like the light and it goes for like say things that are not of so much love and light. There was some sort of energy that I'm also hearing just like when it comes to like ancestors, like be very specific, call out to your benevolent ancestors because not all ancestors are high vibrational, not all like, I remember once, like, years ago, I asked someone, like, well, who are your spirit guides? Because like, they claim that they hear a lot from, like, different energies and spirit guides. They're like, well, I don't know. I don't know any of their names. That's kind of concerning. You know, where it's like, well, who are they? Like, what are you hearing from? You know, um, I'm getting that you're clearing a lot of, like, conflicting energies, whether that's in your ancestral 
like line or for some of you like clearing your auric field and like even in the forms of people like some sort of energy that just knows what you're going to receive but they also know how you're going to use it i do see a lot of abundance you have fertility eight of coins i see a lot of abundance And you using it for the highest good. And I'm also hearing a garbage truck. And so things are being cleared out for you right now. You're also called to declutter, but things are being cleared out for you. Okay, like whatever these energies are, they're going to be cleared. All right, the garbage truck also has 888 on it. So the landscape portal could definitely mean something to you. And that's why it's like you were working harder than you had to, quote unquote, right? Because everything happens for a reason. These negative or malevolent energies, beings, they know who you are too. All right? That's being clear. I'm also hearing I am presence, all right? You being in your I am presence. Why the Six of Swords with the Strength card? Yeah, you're going to be receiving this Pisces. You're coming out of those, yeah, magic, Isis. And then you have the King of Pentacles. Like, this is a lot of very, like, golden, royal, abundant energy. You know, which I do see abundance. Abundance is, like, all forms. It's not just money. Um, but you're meant for these beautiful, fertile, abundant things, okay? I'm even getting a little bit of the Osiris energy because I'm seeing, like, the Nile River. And I'm also seeing, like, the green face of Osiris, okay? Like, you're meant for these beautiful things. Osiris can also be a spirit guide of yours. You're coming out of those stormy waters, coming into calmer waters. And as soon as I say that, I get a notification that says, remember who you are, and it has a crown on it. Okay, Pisces, you're being crowned. Uh, fix your crown. 12-12, as I say that. Adjust your crown, even if it like slid off just a little bit. All right, because, and then this person is wearing a crown. Right, you're meant for beautiful and great things. Being mindful of the people you come across, you know, the ops. I don't want to like say that, right? I personally don't believe in the term enemies. Do things exist? Yes, so it would be kind of stupid to not believe that things just don't exist. I feel like that's too much love and light, you know, but your I am presence. I am that I am. And that's that. And you're really calling in all of this fertile and magic energy, okay? You've had to have strength during these times of, of really remaining in your faith, rooting in the heart, you know, uh, and while things come into a balance over here, you've really had to believe in yourself. Okay, Akashic Records, there are certain things that just had to clear and happen. And what I'm also hearing is like prophecy. Like you are meant to receive or do what it is that you're meant to receive and do. I also have Water Spirit, Emotions, Memory, and Life Force. Okay, you could be going through like a Kundalini Awakening. You have number seven there as well. So you could be seeing seven, seven, seven. In clearing karmic memories, you have cleansing, protection, and blessing. And by karmic memories, I mean like these traumatic maybe experiences, you know, or like these people. They had to learn soul lessons too. And it's like knowing Pisces that like you're an activator. You are meant to do what you're meant to do. You're meant to receive what you're meant to receive. But you're also going to be an activator to those who are meant to learn those lessons. Some of it is like, again, like these soul contracts where they will come across you, Akashic Records. And then... For a lot of you Pisces, I feel like too, it's like having the discernment and boundaries to just not, to know that those things exist and it can come in the form of people. What's the star card for Pisces? Queen of Swords. And you do still have magic. Isis on the bottom of the deck. Why the Queen of Swords with the star card? Yeah, Pisces, you are meant to just stand in your truth. You have wisdom, standing in loving truth and wisdom. Nine of Pentacles, you're meant to be very stable. You're meant to have a lot of abundance. It's just such this beautiful energy. Have hope, faith, and trust. Do what it is that you need to do. You know, explore your soul path. 
um, access your own Akashic records, you know, because the Akashic records are so healing, which is why we had the introduction to the Akashic records workshop the other day too, um, because they're just so healing. They're so revealing and they really, really do make shifts that you can physically see in your reality. Okay. Page of Pentacles. It's standing in your truth. And I feel like you're an I am presence to the people around you. People come into your life for that I am presence. So again, it's like a moth to a flame, like just having the discernment and boundaries. What else do we have for the Nine of Pentacles and Queen of Swords? Yeah, you have oppression. Why the oppression card for the Queen of Swords and Nine of Pentacles? Seven of Cups. And then Fortune. Okay, this fortune is meant for you. In whatever way that that looks. Like, it's not always, like, yes, it's money, right? We all deserve money, abundance, those types of things. It's also just like just such a beautiful and happy life. Like, a peaceful and happy life is so abundant. It's also recognizing Lakshmi. So Lakshmi also, like, the goddess of wealth and prosperity, she really helps with shifting your perspective of abundance. Oppression, seven of cups. Seven of cups, I get like a lot of the mind space, right? Some of you, these energies, these entities have really tried to shift your perspective. You have the card to believe in yourself as well. It's like through these people, situations, again, or these energies or entities, I'm hearing thought forms, you know, so like thoughts that aren't truly yours, you know, always call back your energy, always clear your energy, um, like I'm hearing thought forms, okay? There's been a lot of thought forms as well that have oppressed you in a sense of not coming into this energy of like the beliefs of like I'm not good enough or this or that. You really are good enough and you're meant for these beautiful things no matter what's going on in your life. You're meant to create your own reality and to call all of this in. I'm like also like seeing like with the oppression in Seven of Cups, like the shackles of the mind. You know, why the oppression and seven of cups? Yeah, especially when it comes to abundance. You have five of cups over here. Some of you in your life could have dealt with like depression and grief. And this could have this could be because of trauma. You know, it's like with the strength card, you could have had a hard life. You could have experienced a lot of trauma. And your birthright is that you're abundant. You deserve an abundant life, a happy life. You deserve to live in your authentic sacred expression. But because of trauma, because of, that's what I'm seeing, even as like the five of swords where it's like you're meant for these things, you're meant to receive. But if you've been through a lot of trauma, if you've had a hard life, it can be hard to know that you are worthy of receiving the highest. Not just like, well, I received this. I can receive this once I do this, this, and this. Like, no, you deserve the highest in this present moment. And this book is like calling out to me right now, the book of the law. Ace of Pentacles, okay? There's been a lot of thought forms, ancestral thought forms, these energies and entities. Again, Five of Cups, where you really could have dealt with depression in your life. What is that gonna do? It's gonna lower your vibration. And not that that's bad, but you can clear that energy. Depression in itself is a spirit to call out. Like I call out the spirit of depression. I call it the spirit of grief unending. I call it out. I command it out and away from my energetic field and my being down to a cellular level across all time, spaces, and dimensions. It's things like that, Pisces. So like, even if you bring it into your day, like if those are things that you deal with, that you go through, like I clear this across all time, spaces, and dimensions. Because you have the power. That's what I'm hearing is like, I am presence. You're meant for these beautiful things. You're meant for that Ace of Pentacles. And you have all the power to break those shackles. The Priest of the Princess, Ankh Fn Khonsu. Love is the law, love under will. Kansu can resonate with you. Kansu is an Egyptian god. Uh, he's also a craftsman. So that if that resonates with you, like you already know who Kansu is. If not, you can look up Kansu. What's this Ace of Pentacles for Pisces? 
You are meant for this, Pisces. You motherfuckers. You ten of pentacles. You're meant for this. You're meant for the highest, okay? And no, it's not just like, oh, well, I'll get it then. Or I'll get it next. Like, don't. Don't be in that energy. Remain in your I am presence. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups. You're meant for a beautiful and great life. And it could feel like in your life because it was hard or traumatizing or whatever it was that there's a lot of shackles, that there's a lot to work through. But believe in miracles. 33 seconds as I say that, like, I am a miracle. And I feel like for some of you, because you've been through so much or go through so much, it can feel like, well, like, how am I ever going to clear this? How am I ever going to get through this? I am a living miracle and I deserve it right now. Not 10 years from now, not five years from now. I'm a miracle right now. All right. And that's really the message of this reading. What do we have as advice for Pisces? Wisdom. Okay. A lot of wisdom coming in. Some of you pray for wisdom or it's like also understanding, you know, so yeah, six of wands. You may have been through a lot in your life. You may have had a lot to clear, a lot of the oppression, like whatever it was, right? You could even maybe look at other people's lives. Like I have a lot to, to clear in comparison to that or that. Do not compare yourself to other people's journeys. And just because you have quote unquote, it, right? In the human experience or like just seeing things with the human eye, a lot more to clear. You are a living miracle, one, four, four. And don't compare yourself to anyone or to anything. Why do we have wisdom here? It's all giving you the wisdom it is. Look at that, the world. It's giving you the wisdom it is that you've needed to come into this. New beginnings and the world. You are stepping into a brand new cycle. You're creating your own paradigm shift. And you just need to believe in that. Right? And it's a balance of like, yes, the body needs to respond. There is healing of the body. You know, so I think that even sometimes where people are just like, yeah, it's just your mindset. Yes, it is just your mindset, you know, but like also just do the work, do the healing and remain in that I am or I am a miracle consciousness as you're doing everything else because of your life, right? Or because of these blockages, whatever that this was, you've acquired a lot of wisdom. I feel like some of you compare your life to other people, but Oh boy, the wisdom it is that you have. And you're coming into a brand new cycle here, Pisces, where it's, it's, it's receiving. It's the Ten of Pentacles. It's applying the wisdom. All right? That's what I have for you. I'm going to grab a few cards of advice. Again, if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, or Akashic Records, check out the box below. Yes, past lives. Definitely Akashic Records energy. On um, the bottom of the deck, it says, Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. We're all students and we're all teachers. Past lives. Release your past life karma. Okay, a lot of this is past life stuff. You're an old soul with deep wisdom. Whether that's past lives, whether it's a lot going through a lot in this lifetime, you have deep, deep wisdom. And that is so much abundance in itself. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. Okay. And we talked about this even in the Akashic Records workshop we held the other day where uh, someone had asked the question, I have a chronic illness. Can that have to do with past lives or the Akashic Records? Yes, it does. Sometimes we learn lessons from these chronic illnesses and stuff like that. I remember I had like something that was quote unquote like incurable and as a kid I was on so much medication and it's just gone and I remember this one specific I, I dealt with a lot of physical body stuff like from a kid where it was just like these mysterious weird illnesses like my bladder like just crazy things and one of them is when God was like first really starting to like really be clear and speaking to me and God had said if you heal the root of this it's going to go away and it went away. It was so painful. And then like, it was, it was literally on 11, 11 of maybe two to three years ago, two or three years ago, 11, 11, the doctor calls me and said, Hey, we checked your blood. And did you say that you had this? Because it's not in your blood anymore. Like it, it, it's like, it was never there. And miracles 
Like miracles are real, Pisces. You are a living miracle, you know, and it's doing the work. It is taking care of your body, a, a lot of its consciousness, you know, but whatever is going on in your life, like whether it seems like you can never clear this or get through this or incurable or whatever it is, your I am presence raises your vibrations. Knowing the spiritual root, energetic root, healing your past lives raises your vibration. What do we have? You have the pathway, direction, purpose, and change. Okay. Um, some of you may be shifting in like what your path is. Okay. When it comes to your purpose. Uh, I feel like things are being made more clear to you of like, this is my purpose. This is what I'm meant to share, to do. And just knowing too that it may always shift and change a little bit. Like we're always meant to reinvent ourselves. And as we raise in vibration, that our purpose will raise as well. I guess that's the word I want to use. What's a final message? Yeah, for some of you, this is really, um, some of it's very ancestral. You have the grandmothers. Remember your roots, perspective, and trust the weavings. Okay, have hope, faith, and trust that it is already yours. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that it resonates. I'm sending you all so much love and so many blessings.